Today I'm going to show you a simple way of how to make pop-up cards. You're going to need construction paper, markers, um, scissors, glue, a pencil, some scrap paper. The first thing that you're going to do with your card, I'm using scrap paper here, is you are going to fold it in half to the size that you want it to be. It does not have to be big like this. It can be small. It can be larger. Um, this is just a skill that you will have for um, making cards later on in your life as well. So you open it up. Then you have to decide um, where you want your pop-up to be. So if you start in the middle, depending on how wide you want the pedestal to be, you just kind of cut it twice, like it's almost a tab. And I'll make some more over here. You can always add them as you go, um, depending on where you, um, what you're putting inside. So when you have these little tabs made, then you have to take and push them forward. So I have this skinny one. I want it to bend the opposite way. So when I bring it in, I'm going to push it down. So now it bends up like this. So then I'm going to take the next one and pop it forward. I'm going to pull it and then close the card again and crease. And then the next one as well. So I have three like shelves if you will. So you're going to pull them forward and then you're going to crease. Now when you're making a card you don't want all of these slots to show. So here when I open my card things are going to pop forward on these little pedestals but the back side can be covered and it can be covered by any other color. So you're going to fold this one in half. It's kind of the casing or the outside of the card and you're going to take this and put it inside here. Now if you don't like that other color showing you could trim that off um, but you're going to glue them then together. So inside of here you're going to add glue touching the tip of the glue bottle to the paper so it doesn't ooze all over. You don't want to glue your, your card shut. It's really important you only use a small amount of glue and then you're going to put it where you want it to be and then close and smooth. Now if you put too much glue it'll ooze all out and it possibly will glue your card shut and then it won't be a pop-up card at all. In fact it won't open. So you want to make sure that you are doing that on both sides. So then I'm going to open this side. Touching the tip of the glue bottle to the paper helps you to control how much comes out. You can also do small dots. Hop, hop, hop little dots. It will um, also prevent oozing. So I have a small amount of glue. I'm closing it back up. Now you can make anything you want on the cover. It could be colored paper. It could be markers. Um, whatever kind of personal note you want to the person that you're making the card for. And I made my, my pop-ups come this way. So now I'm going to work on what's going to pop up on those cards themselves. So let's say I'm going to make... Um, like a series of flowers. If it's like a Mother's Day card or something like that, you can draw out what you want it to look like. First in pencil, and then you're going to cut out your scraps. If something is symmetrical, you can fold it in half and draw just one side of it. When I'm drawing something with pencil, I always put the glue on the side with the pencil. I don't like um, my pencil to show. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the front of that, and I'm going to stick my flower right on the front. Once again, not a lot of glue, otherwise you might glue something closed. Um, if I were to make a little heart, I might fold the paper and draw half the heart. So if I zoom in... Here's my fold. I just draw half the heart. It could be um, a bunch of big hearts that jump out. If you're doing something for Christmas, it could be um, a Christmas tree or a wreath. So here is my heart. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the side with pencil. I'm going to stick that in the middle of my flower. Um, let's see. Once again, folding. Here's the fold. You're going to put the drawing on the folded side, cutting it out. There is another heart. I put that there. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So whatever you want your heart or your card 
to be, whether it's birthday, Mother's Day, Christmas, Valentine's Day. This is a simple way to make your um, card a little bit more special by making pop-ups. So it could have a sign that says Happy Mother's Day that pops up in the card. I'm only putting glue where it touches the pop-up as well. You don't want glue on the back sides of here because your um, project will not pop up. It will stick permanently. So now when you see these fold down, you can see them folding flat inside the card and then they, they kind of come out. So um, simple way to make the mechanisms that work a pop-up card. All right. Thank you for listening.